Staff accommodation is a large part of UAE's fabric, as this is where blue-collar workers are housed, often working in the construction and maintenance industry. I'm FM Middle East editor Nikhil Pereira, and on today's episode of FM Live, we take a look at the public and private sector's involvement in staff accommodation. There has been big news in the FM industry with regards to staff accommodation from FM operators. In November last year, Transcard announced that work was underway on its $31 million staff accommodation site, whilst Farnec, another FM company, recently broke ground on its $41 million facility in DIP. Transcard's site will house 2,708 employees, whereas Farnex will be home to 5,000 employees. But here's where it gets really interesting. The staff accommodation complexes are not what they are thought of in the traditional sense. Let's break it down. Transgard will feature a dedicated medical clinic, barber shop, a fully equipped gym, laundry facilities, multi-cuisine dining area, a recycling plant, and ATM banking facilities on site. Meanwhile, Farnex's list of salient features will include free Wi-Fi across its near 10,000 square meter footprint, a barber shop, restaurant, medical clinic, you get the picture. These buildings will also be green, and allow me to explain what I mean by that. Transgard's site is being built in accordance to UAE's green building compliance standards and will have LED lighting and solar panels for water heating, as well as grey water recycling at the facility. Now, Farnex facility matches those features that of Transgard and will also come equipped with a bespoke software solution so that new employees can be welcomed 24-7 at a dedicated reception lobby, sign in, and then be shown to their room in a matter of minutes. Okay, enough about these two companies and their stellar staff welfare initiatives. There are a lot more initiatives going on in the market and let's take a look at what others are doing. Unforgettably, in 2018, Dubai Municipality said that it was going to relocate 4,000 of its employees to a new internationally specced staff accommodation site in Dubai's Al Warsan area. Finally, Valtrans, the valet parking service provider, also announced in 2018 that it will be opening a new five star staff accommodation site for its employees again in Dubai Investment Park. There's no doubt the aforementioned companies and their initiatives are commendable. Are you watching this video from the comfort of your staff accommodation room? Let us know what your company is doing to enrich your living experience in your staff accommodation sites. Don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section below. Thank you for watching this week's episode of FM Live. Before you click off this video, do not forget to like and subscribe to Construction Week for all the latest updates. Until next time, stay tuned.